Hello there, and welcome to Let's Talk Sport. We've got a big match this weekend between Liverpool and Manchester United. So top of the table, let's, let's make it clear. Man United, after 17 games, 36 points. Liverpool, after 17 games, 33 points. Now, obviously, we've got one Liverpool fan, Joe Stanley, and we've got one Manchester United fan, Jamie. Coming to first in the table first, Jamie. Hey! Top of the league. Top of the league. Top of the league. Oh. <laughs> it's been nice, lads. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Second. <laughs> I thought we should give more United love today, but you know that's me. Oh. Jamie, happy with United? Are they going to win? What's your thoughts on Sunday's match? Well, I'm just relieved that we won our game in hand because that Burnley game was the most important game of the season so far. And my God, they made it look tough, didn't they? Uh, one nil. It was a deflection that went in. It should have been a Martial goal, but in all fairness to Pogba, that second half performance for United was he deserved the cherry on top with a goal there. And yeah, I think it's it's a weird season because despite the fact that the the bad start we had with the defeat at Crystal against Crystal Palace at home and Tottenham Hotspur six one, it didn't look good at all. It looked like another it looked like a long season ahead. But fair play to Solskjaer since that defeat to Arsenal. Uh, back in October, they've completely turned it around. I believe now it's nine wins and two draws since then. I, I might be wrong, but, you know, to, to turn it around, uh, despite all the pressure and the media as well, probably suggesting that Solskjaer's not fit to do the job. Now we're top. Yeah, OK, we've had to rely on Liverpool to slip up a little bit and the others like Man City and Leicester and all that. But, you know, can't go wrong, really. We're, we're, on, we're top now. There's still plenty of games to go and this is when you can't get carried away. It's easy to, but... You know, it could all change if we don't get the result at Liverpool on Sunday. But bring it on. I think we're playing Liverpool at the right time as well. So, yeah, yeah. as you mentioned, they haven't lost in the Premier League since that Tottenham game. Oh, no, the Arsenal game, sorry. Well, actually, lots of both North London clubs didn't notice. Um, Joe, Liverpool come off in this game off the back of a 1-0 defeat to Southampton. And before that, 1-1 draw to West Brom. And before that, no, sorry, Newcastle. Then it's a 0-0 draw to Newcastle. Then a 1-1 draw to West Brom. Are you confident going into this game against top of the table? Well, we seem to perform against the, the big sides. And it's, it's typical Liverpool from a couple of years ago where we don't perform against the, the lower league, or lower down the league side, should I say not lower league side. And then against the big boys, we return on the style and always seem to put in the performance to get the results. Uh, but I don't know, with our defensive issues at the moment, you know, obviously with the injuries, it's not an ideal time to be playing Manchester United. And then with the FA Cup draw in the week, thanks, Crouchy. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be playing in twice in a week, once at home and once away. Uh, it could either be a really great week for Liverpool and we can ruin United's new year as such and knock them out of one of the competitions. Or we could have an absolutely terrible time. I, I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, but in, as regards to confidence... Our home form is, well, you know, Anfield's a fortress and we've not lost in 66 games, I believe, off the top of my head there. So that's like three seasons now, or getting on for three seasons. And it'll stay at 66. It was Allardyce with Crystal Palace who last beat them. So I think it was 23rd of April 2017, I think. think Something like that. 2017, yes. Yeah, it was April 2017. I know that that for a fact, I remember that. That that was an awful day. Did that beat Chelsea's record? Because they, well, they, yeah. they were they they for what four Ch- years? Chelsea's record is eighty four, I believe. That's wow, that's, that's so, crazy. So it we've is. got another another season, two seasons to, yeah. to go. I mean, uh, no, Joe, don't worry about it, mate. It'll be, it'll be sorted out on Sunday. Don't worry. <laughs> Let me beat you. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what I thought was interesting. The, if you look at the if you look at the tables, I mean, firstly we know that United are the top three points clear of Liverpool. If you look at home form, Liverpool played eight. They've got twenty two points. If you look at Man United, they've played eight away and they've got 22 points. So uh, there's not more even. They're both top of the, uh, their respective home and away tables. If, I, I don't believe that one team can win both matches, which is the Cup and the League. So, Jamie, as a United fan, which one do you take at this point? Oh, the, you league. Take, the League. So yeah. Yeah, no winning the League, defeating the Cup. No and I think, Joe, I've got a slight feeling that you'd say exactly the same. 
Yeah, I'd say the same. As desperate as I am for us to win the FA Cup, because we haven't won it since 2006, the league's got to take priority. We've got to draw level with Manchester United and 20 Premier League titles. Whether that'll happen this season, I don't know. But it's I, 2021, it's, you know, 21 in 2021. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm it's so easy to, to get if, carried away. <laughs> I want to see how you'll get on in February when you're playing Thursday to Sunday. You know, those long trips to uh, well, I I have farmers, this theory. To farm I have, field somewhere. I have I have this theory that Solskjaer will rest a lot of the first team players those days if if he wants to. Let's say let's. I depending on where we are in the Premier League next month, I don't think he'll risk it. I think he'll just focus on the Prem. And who knows, Joe? We could be out of the FA Cup if we lose to Liverpool. So for me, if I was Solskjaer, I would just focus on the Prem because in my eyes, we'll get top four. I'm confident to think we'll get top four. So I don't think. Winning Europa League is a priority to get Champions League. But we'll see. Things could change dramatically in a week. But there's, there's depth in that squad. Let's not... Yeah, yeah. There isn't. In the Europa League, imagine if you've got Lindelof playing and Twan Zabu well. player. Yeah, if you, if you, imagine in the Europa League, you've got Twan Zabu, uh, Lindelof and Tellers who are playing. And then you've Van got... Van der Beek. Fred, you've, maybe you've got Van der Beek to come in more. And then you've got Diallo who's just come in. So, yeah, Henderson. There's, there should be enough to be able to deal with the Thursday and the Sunday the yeah. fixtures. I, I I still don't think Liverpool look very convincing. And I thought it was also weird that Pogba played the 90 minutes yesterday with the United game coming up, also considering that he was out against Watford with an injury. I'm just a bit curious. Yeah, what... I, 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 was, I was watching when it was the last 10 minutes or so, I, me and my brother were stressing at Solskjaer that he should have taken Rashford off a bound. 60 to 70 minutes because he just didn't look good last night. And, and, he didn't and, look and up even, for it. Not even just to not not even just to rest him, just because he wasn't good enough. The, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, it would have changed. It would have been better for the game if he hadn't played. Yeah, just, uh, I think it's tiresome for Rashford because he's doing the prime minister's job for him. But anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is it, isn't it? Because I mean, I, 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 a lot of people would say, you know, I'm not saying what he's doing is isn't bad. I'm not, you know completely back what Rashford is doing but at some point it is going to take a toll isn't it you know doing quite a big job and also doing another big job which is playing for United so it's I do think it, it does take into account and you know at this point you've got to sort of prioritize in my eyes just regardless because this is this is the this is United's biggest season since Fergie left in my eyes but uh, I, that's unfair, considering that he has actually had a decent season, a good season. I'd yeah, say, yeah, no, 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 I'm not, I'm so not, no, 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 oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just saying because last yesterday he was in a news story and he shared his opinion that he was disappointed with the school meals, and I thought this is hours before a big game. I'm not saying he shouldn't be involved in that, but I just think just, just please, just focus on something that's quite big as well. I don't know. But I, I think, but I think my, as well, my, 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 my problem is, is that a lot of footballers should be involved in that stuff anyway, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. they make a lot of money. and they, I'm not saying they don't, but it's, yeah, it's, it's funny. I'm only hearing about Rashford, so that's just my thoughts. I think it's also – Burnley defended really well yesterday. They were a very low block. That Tukowski's, not let awesome. Go past. Tukowski's awesome. I, yeah, big I, I, think, and ben I think Ben Mee's underrated, underrated as well. They're ben both Mee's underrated, really, yeah. yeah. Uh, ben Mee's really actually can be terrible on the ball as much as just do a very good job defensively. It's, but, it's all me, but, me, me. Haha, -ha, brilliant. I know. Uh, what do you think is the keys if United are looking to beat Liverpool on Sunday, Jamie? I think my fear about Liverpool is when I watch them against Southampton, even though they lost, you're going to get Liverpool 90 minutes at you, without a doubt, especially with the way they always play with waves, waves of attacks all the time, which is football I love watching um, because it's, it's, you just know, I've probably said this before to you guys, I would rather go to bed that night after a game and go, at least we bloody tried, instead of having a game where you hardly go up front, <coughs> Mourinho. Um, and you, you just have that kind of mentality and style where it's like the whole aim of football is to score goals. And I know a lot of people can say, you got to be realistic with your tactics and who you're up against. I'm like, yeah, fine, but give it a bloody go. Because, I mean, it's like last night when we were against Burnley. In the first half, Burnley did a great job. But then in the second half, they were all over the place. They were getting tired and they couldn't deal with United. And United weren't that great yesterday. I will say that now. We... I think we deserved the win, but we, we still haven't actually. I can't. There's not. There's only one. Or two, there's only one game I'd say United have actually convinced people, which was against Leeds when they won six two. But that could that should have been more goals. The amount of chances we wasted has shown how 
unclinical we are, even, even if that's a word. We're just not clinical. Um, but when you look at Liverpool, they can be clinical. So that's what could win it um, on Sunday. Um, I'm expecting a low goal-scoring affair. And I honestly think if United play by with Maguire again, I don't think you could get any more wrong with the, the defence lineup. You just got to hope that it there is no goals conceded. But I'll take a draw right now. I I I, I smell a draw right now from what I'm seeing uh, because but, Liverpool aren't in form and United could be playing a lot better. Just to just to state a few of the stats in the last ten competitive games between Manchester United and Liverpool, Manchester United have won one of those games. Now, now on the other hand, Liverpool have only won three. So I, it's, it, to me, it's got a draw written all over it. And but surely, wouldn't the way that Liverpool... Well, Liverpool struggled against Newcastle and West Brom, who played a very low line and tried playing on the counter. Very inefficient on the counter. United are. Doesn't this surely play into their hands, the fact that they could surely frustrate Liverpool, keep letting them keep the ball, and then counter-attack them? But I feel like that's the perfect way to play against Liverpool at the moment. I think, and yeah, that's what United can I mean, do perfectly. And 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 we we know that we're up against a defensive line that isn't always there. Um, in terms of, well, there's no Van Dijk. Matip is a hit and miss at the moment, so we don't know until match day. I don't think. Um, mm. And and I'll be honest though, Fabinho's been brilliant. I think Fabinho's done really well in defence. Mm-hmm. He's taken up that role really well, and I and I I praise Klopp for for that. Cause I just think, look. You're struggling. You've not got the best of your team, but you're still getting results with it. So I think Henderson's doing all right in defence as well. So it's so easy to look at the the game ahead on Sunday and go, well, United have got the squad while Liverpool are lacking a few players. But at the end of the day, it's very easy to get carried away. But this is Liverpool. They're they're Premier League champions, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. And Joe, what would you think Liverpool needs to do to beat this United team? and get the most important three points of the year? Uh, I think they need to be solid defensively. They need to isolate the forwards and control the, and dictate the play in midfield and not let the likes of Pogba, V plays and Fernandes dictate the play. I think Liverpool need to control that. So whoever the midfield three is, uh, they need to control the play. And I think... Thiago will probably start this game. I know you're a big fan of Thiago Seven. <laughs> <laughs> but I, th- I think he's, 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 he's a great start player. I think he's a great player. I'm not saying he, he's the best. And he does in the world. mean that. He I'm not having it. That. I'm he not having that. that. He's going to. Um, I think he'll play because of his passing ability and the way he can unlock deep line defenses. It's just for me the defensive issues that Liverpool have had. It, if Trent acts on Arnold on his game, then we'll be fine. But if he has a game like he did against Southampton, then whoever's on that left hand side of United is just going to have an absolute field day. Sense of pairing. It could be Martial. It could be Rashford. And it, Probably Rashford, they'll probably stick there because of the, what happened in 2018. But it sent it back there. And <laughs> Matt Matty wasn't in the training photos taken on Wednesday. Um, as we filmed today, it's Wednesday. So it looks like we're either looking at Nat Phillips or Jordan Henderson because I don't think Reese Williams will play because he had a shocker in the FA Cup. I think, I think as well, um, the, the one other player I'd be... I wasn't... I, I really like Sadio Mane. Joe knows this. But he wasn't great against Southampton, was he, Marnie? There was, there was two moments he had in the box where he, for some reason, he decided to kick the ball back out when he was so close to the goal. And I thought, on a normal day, Manny would give it a go. Okay, if it doesn't go in, at least... It, you know, Marnie is awesome. He knows he's awesome. But I think that's applicable to all three of them up front, isn't it? You is, know, I'm Teller. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't think they've got confidence at the moment. I just don't see any confidence in that front three. Mm-hmm. And... Salah has been my, my favourite out the three this season because he has scored, like even against Villa when they lost 7-2, he scored two goals. You know, for him, it felt like a normal day, just apart from the fact that the team lost. But I, I think if Marnie and Firmino and Salah don't show up in this, this game, it's going to be interesting. But look, Pogba, we, people can praise about Pogba. I'm not convinced by him still. Yes, he had a great game last night, but I, I hope he's he had a great won. month. He's had a great month. But, yeah, but I hope, I hope open. The tra- <laughs> thank you, Joe. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Completely agree. And he's got to do it this weekend for me, Pogba, because he's never done it in a Liverpool game for more, in a Liverpool game before, and he's been in enough of them. So I hope he does because he knows he can do it. He's, he's won trophies without, without, uh, you know, without being informed. He can do it. He just needs to focus. 
I'm intrigued. You, you mentioned Thiago, and I think Thiago is important. Also, if Liverpool do want to play through Manchester United's midfield, but he's probably also a weak point in the sense that uh, one thing with Pogba, Pogba at the moment is he can attract so many different midfield players and then get out of it. Like against Burnley, yeah. he came around him and he got around it. With Thiago, he has a tendency very often to stick his foot in. It's very well done. It's really quite clever sometimes, and it seems like it comes out of nowhere. But against Pogba, I'm not convinced that's always the best thing to do. And he could get a booking, maybe a red. Because against Southampton, I thought he was pushing his look as well. He did yeah. a few great tackles, but he was definitely pushing his look. And if you have Reese Williams who started, we talked about age being on his side. I, th- I think I mentioned this to Jamie. He's 19, he's got age on his side. When you see how fast he runs, he has not got age on his side because he's only going to get slower. It's so slow, it's shocking. I've seen him win against West Brom where he just can't run at all. And then also in the FA Cup, the, the goal that they concede... Oh, God, that's just, that's awful. How can he expect to play for Liverpool one day if he's, he's not got these abilities? I don't Which know. a youth player has do, donned you, basically. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But maybe that's just but if he's a not, learning if he's process. Not got the, if he's not got the speed, then you've got to have to, some sort of intelligence to cut off the ball. And he never does that. Well, that's what Scholes was, wasn't he? He didn't have pace, but he had the intelligence to, to back it up. In a way, you know, yeah, the, the physical attributes. Yeah, I'd have to have the technical attributes. You don't have the technical attributes, you've at least got to have the tactical attributes. And I'm not saying any of those in Reese Williams at the moment. That's what I'm saying. But I think, yeah, I, I, I'm being, I, I, I'm being very critical. He's 19. He's yeah, 19, yeah, but yeah. I'm, just, I'm just worried that a 19 year old is so weak and runs so slow. That's, yeah. that's just a big worry for me. Um, yeah. So, give us your predictions then. What's the score going to be? I'm not giving you one. <laughs> You're going to have to, Jamie. I've had no, to. no, 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 no. Not a game like this. I'm not giving you one. <laughs> Please, Sorry. Jamie, come on. No, come on. no, 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 no. Okay, then no, who's, no, no. Who, what's, what's the result going to be? Not a scoreline result. Go on, Joe. <laughs> uh, 2-1. <laughs> That's going to be the scoreline, 2-1. You just said to United, oh. Oh, he said <laughs> it. <laughs> I did. 2-1 two ones, two ones Liverpool, I'm going to say. Because oh. I'm Go biased. On, Jamie. You know, last chance, last chance. No, nah, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm, not, so, I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one drop. He says 2-1 Liverpool as well. No, 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 no. I can take I'm it to court. For, <laughs> I'm, going for, I'm going for a 1-1 one, one draw. It always ends in a draw this match. I think it'd be shocking if neither scored. Well, as I said, I smell one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it didn't draw exactly. last season. It was 2-0. Okay. Yeah. I've been on the season before. I, as I mentioned, most of the times recently it ends in the draw this match. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we'll be following along the match. We'll be doing a watch along like we have been doing for the last weeks. Be joining Jamie. I think Joe's there with us as well. And maybe others. We'll be there probably 15 minutes before. Join us. And don't forget to like, subscribe as usual. Thank you, fellas. And I'll see you there.